Bitcoin traders from across the globe, welcome, welcome, and thank you for tuning in to my 2030th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Thank you again. So, video number 2030. In these videos, I teach you the art of technical analysis. I tend to be very good at that art, so pay attention, and I'll try to show you some cool stuff going forward in the markets for the next few days. Before we get started on the topics on the board, I must remind you that futures trading, stock trading, ETF trading, options trading, anything of that nature is extremely risky. You can lose way more money than you had planned, so please know this. It's a risky game. Never trade alone. Come to my trading room at livewithoscar.com. I'll teach you the rules and how to pay attention to markets correctly, and always know that you should put your stops in first. All right, so what is on the board for trading November 26th, 2019? And this is basically for the rest of the week, my opinion in this video. Green Omni for E-mini S&P, NASDAQ, and Russell. We expect them to just continue to go higher. Our year-end Omni targets are nearing, and you know they've been on the board since the beginning of this year. That one's likely to get hit before we even come to the end of the year. Indices are on a tear. That's NASDAQ, S&P, Russell. Try to get yourselves long and just hold on this week. It looks like it's going to go all week. If you miss the indices, sell short gold. I've got two really cool charts to show you why. Well, i got several charts, but gold charts, I think you'll see why we should get short there. And indices are going, so we might as well grab on, be quiet, put our stops in, and try to ride this thing higher. So, please subscribe to my videos if you don't mind, like and share. When you subscribe, hit the little alert button so that you are alerted. You'll get an email every time I put out one of these educational videos. Alright, so, I'm not going to waste much of your time. This is a holiday week, but no holiday reversals are expected in the stock market. Up, up, up we go, in my opinion. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, you're looking at the gold daily bar chart. I started to show you this gold chart right when we bounced from here, if you recall, in video after video. You look at the last few videos. I've shown you the gold daily chart, and there's a bear flag inside of this channel. So we, we've been trying to attempt to trade gold from the short side. Here's what the flag looks like, and this is what's happened since the flag started to break. That looks pretty good, right? That's analysis working well. So flags happen to be the flavor of the week or the month. It's not the only piece of technical analysis I go after, but when you find one, they usually work well. So that flag should get us down to that blue line at least. I would be a seller of gold, no doubt. Sell short gold when you get a chance. Then you've got this. Another chart, I put this chart out on the Omni early this morning on Monday morning and said, look at this bull flag, Omni's kind of blue neutral, that was for trading, of course, on Monday, and since then Omni's gotten green, but look what happened to this bull flag. Talk about flags being the flavor of the week. Look at this bull flag, watch this. Wow, is that not amazing? That really worked. Now, I cannot claim we got long. We tried. We just didn't get filled and it went without us. See the little gap? That little gap cost us getting filled. We didn't get in. However, we have tonight and tomorrow to try to get into the indices markets. Now, go out to the weeklies. Russell on the weekly bar. Now, each one of these lines represents a full week's worth of trading. Look at that nice bull flag we are breaking out of on the weekly bar. And if you know how to run resistance and support lines, you've got a resistance line here that's been broken out of, a flag that built above it. Now we're here. Market looks great. Why not just continue on straight through the holiday week? That's your Russell Weekly. E-mini S&P Weekly has gotten above this massive channel and is running. That looks fantastic. Pullbacks are a buy for sure. Then you've got the NASDAQ. Broke out of what looked to be a pennant building. Broke out very smartly of that pennant. And look where it is now. If it got up here, it would be way higher. This is a weekly chart, so this is hundreds and hundreds of points away. It could get up here very easily and achieve that top line of resistance. And then, if you ask me, this is my chart masterpiece. And I'm going to give this chart a round of applause. Traders, 
think I had the guts to come out in front of you in the beginning of 2019 when the market was here at the price of 22500 the Dow. And I said there's an omni target up here at 28500 to 29000 This is where we were when Omni gave us the target, and this is what's happened since. And if we get here, we will have nailed the Omni target once again. And I'll tell you right now, traders, I've been showing this Omni target since 2006, the year-end target. I put it out every single year in the beginning of the year, and the Omni has been correct. Since 2006, we missed one year only. And that year was 2016, where the market opened, ran up, came down, and settled at the same price for the year. It was a flat year, and nobody's year-end call worked. Barring that, every year-end call has worked out from Omni since I started posting in 2006. Fund managers, what could you do with power like that, I have to ask you. That is phenomenal, having the Omni make these calls year after year. And we're about to hit it once again. I hope we get there, and then we'll do a call for next year when the time comes. All right, traders, that's what I wanted to show you chart-wise. I'll speak to you in a moment and get my butt out of here. Traders, you've seen the charts. You've got my technical reasoning why I think the advice is... Get long indices, put a deep stop in first, get yourselves long, and just hold on and raise that stop as the market goes up this week. That's how you should play the indices. Gold, you miss those, try to get yourself short gold and jump out when it dips. All right, traders, thank you for watching the videos once again. Much appreciated. Enjoy your holiday week. I don't know if another video comes out this week until after Thanksgiving. We'll see. I could use a little time off myself. We'll see what happens. We've got orders in this evening to be long the indices, on the axe. You've seen your walking papers, right? Or your, I should say, you've got your flash updates. You see what I want us to do. If the market reaches all levels, you make sure you get long, stop in first, and hold on. And I'll be there with flash updates tomorrow. Barring that, again, enjoy your turkey day. Thank you for tuning in. I am out of here. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. And I know that's not easy. When you're in a trade, and if it's going against you especially, my goodness, that's not easy. But try this. Place the stop first. Then, say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stops are in. Emotions are out. All right, traders, live with Oscar. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.